I absolutely love it. Look at this, look at this. Summer in London is second to none. The atmosphere, the people, especially here on the brick line in the heart of the street art in the UK. Can you feel the energy? On a day like this, especially on the weekend, this street will be heaving with thousands and thousands of people eager to try out vegan options. There's something missing here and it's definitely not the smell of the grilled cheese. It's definitely the smell of spray paint in the morning. So let me take you to this spot. You might recognize it from previous video, well, especially from the origami Yoda. This is a street artist's dream, the footfall. I'm here for the footfall. I'm here for all the eyes, for passerbys. It's all about bringing my origami gospel to the crowds. Hello, my name is Airborne Mark. I'm a London-based street artist passionate about painting paper. Let's scrunch it. This is the wall. And just for your information, at this very moment, I don't know what the legal status of this wall is, whether it's illegal or legal. But hey, they're trying to make breathing your number one nutrition illegal to get a brain damage. Anyhow, so at this point, I might just actually live my life. Well, I never stopped living my life in first place. Anyway, over here, over here, you can see the remnant of my previous work from May. These walls are kind of a free for all. So as much as lovely, this chrome is. It's my turn now. You did not paint it? Hmm? You did not paint it? Mm hmm It's your camera. Mm hmm Well, I haven't done anything yet. Some people are so awkward. I'm strange as well. <laughs> Likes attract. No tray. It's going to be a bit a long one. I use masonry paint for my background just because they are weather resistant. Sometimes my pieces here stay for months. And with the London weather, especially winter time, uh, you know, the moist destroys the background first and then the piece just runs down and just wears off really quickly. Is it giving you a hard time? No, no, it's all love. It's all love, thank you. Thank you for stopping by. So masonry paint is not cheap, but if you're looking for cheap alternatives, uh, check out Code5Art's latest videos. He gives you a few tips how to source cheap alternatives. Okay, that wasn't that bad. Before I start scrunching first lines, let us go to the folding station and see what's creasing. Right, I just realized, I just realized I haven't done my usual thing. You know, I just completely forgot to do this. Anyway, it's probably the testimony of the heat that's already here. I'm in a shade so far, but I'm quite tired already. But I've been taking it really slow. And here's the model the origami model with some addition that I'm going to address later on. Have you heard of cubism? Yes. That's what you do, I think. No, I, I paint origami. Origami, okay. Yeah. Right, and the first thing I'm going to do is put my name here in a nice, easy to read stencil so that everybody passing by here throughout the day 
will know immediately who I am so they can tag me up on Instagram as I'm painting, which is a common thing here, so yeah. I'm halfway through, it's 2.20. I'm planning to finish the origami squirrel. I think you got it by now, it is an origami squirrel. Everybody, every passerby is saying, oh, it's a squirrel. So I know, so I know I'm doing a good job. It seems complicated, but it is not. There are many layers, but there are simple layers here. The faffing would, would be here with the leg and uh, with the ears otherwise in three hours time well at six i should finish it mark my words six o'clock i'll be done i'll speak to you at six o'clock in three hours mark my words Okay, 4.50 p.m. The shade is slowly going away. That's very exciting, isn't it? I'm afraid I'll be sizzling here and that will fuck up my photo because I've painted here before. But good progress so far. Um, the head and a bit of our neck. So, as I said, I'll finish the head, hopefully, at 6 p.m. Obviously, I'm worried about the cap. Will I have time? Let's carry on. As you can see, the sun is obviously on the west side. The shade is moving away. And as I'm painting, I can feel the burn of my, on my face and my legs. But the good thing is it's 5.07 and I have only a head left. It's not super complicated, but it's fiddly. Now, I could rush it, I could simplify it, like some other parts of the reference. The reason I cannot rush it and simplify it is that because naturally the people's attention is going towards the head. This is the first thing they see, they look. So it needs to be just spot on. And I'm really tired, I'm really exhausted at the moment. And as you can see, no enthusiasm whatsoever. <laughs> She wanna make a car, I'm gonna go 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 car, I'
That's why I love painting here in the summer, the vibes. The vibes are second to none. As you can see, this light is way too extreme. I'm struggling a little bit, but it is what it is. Just need to persevere. It's 6.30, I'm still fuffing with the head. I can't get it right. I'm trying to fix it. But at some point I have to abandon it in order to finish the whole piece in time. It is what it is. If I fucked it, I fucked it. Okay, um, I'm cleaning around the piece and I'm about to paint the drop shadow, but I'm worried about this cap. It will take me at least an hour to paint it and I don't want to do it half-heartedly, so I am really considering it, painting it over, because I need to consider either getting the final shot or painting the cap and not having the final shot because it will be, it will be too dark. Right, so I've locked in the drop shadow and as you can see they are solid and they shouldn't be since what's closer to the surface is the darkest and away from the surface like the tail uh, because it's m protruding off the ground here it should be very faint uh, so I'm going to take it back with uh, black grey uh, which is similar to the background color uh, just to neutralize it and uh, that should be it does it make sense now as you can see it's much more subtle which is very realistic yes yeah, so it's always about the balance Okay guys, a bit of a dilemma. I have an hour left. Now it's the perfect light for photos. But this bugs me. I positioned the origami squirrel off center as opposed to the middle of the wall. But like in order for me to paint this, it's just like hour and a half, you know, with me fuffing about with it because of these curves. I'm just painting on the knees. I'm going to faff with it, I don't want to. I don't know what I'm doing, but instead of painting it like solid, like I'm going to do like transparency type of thing. I'll see what, if it works. I wanted to do it like kind of a transparent whatever, but I, I'm watching the light and in order for me to nail it, it's not going to happen.
Whitey Origami Squirrel is done, is yes. finished. Yet another amazing day here in East London. Summer, best of lives. So actually what happened in this part of the video, I was assaulted by a group of they call themselves London Graffiti Writers. Um, they have been drinking all day in the park next to me and they've been uh, harassing me, two of them have been harassing me um, all day. Um, I did capture the whole incident on the camera. However, uh, at this point, um, I'm deciding not to release the whole incident to the public um, mainly because of my safety um, I have no confidence in anything else that would protect me painting weekly on the streets of London especially everybody knows me everyone can find me um, I might address this incident in the future um, but yeah, that's what explains why the following, the follow-up is when I actually uh, was, you know, over an hour later when I actually fixed my piece, which was destroyed with, with my paint. Um, I was overwhelmed and outnumbered. Bit kind of a shitty situation to end the day. Okay guys, Origami Squirrel is finished. I'm rather distressed. Something occurred here that I do not wish anyone to experience in London. I'm kind of uh, traumatized right now. That's why it's dark already. I need to basically leave the incident behind. A quick one. I'm very pleased with it as always, even though such a lovely day ended up on such a bad note. Um, anyhow, a bit of a kerfuffle. Okay, I can't fucking get out of this what happened. Definitely some nice details on this wall. I knew exactly what I was getting into. The texture of this wall, it's not welcoming to complicated pieces like that. Simple folds without line paper. Yes, you can do it here, but with the brick and mortar, not so much. Yeah, some nice details here. The ribbon, the line paper. Overall, very pl pleased with it, I guess. Again, a good thing was that most of the people were saying, oh, it's a squirrel. And they were like, oh, it's an origami. So I know my job is done. As always, Drop Shadow is selling it really nicely. <clears throat> well, in the end, I decided against painting the fat cap here in a very realistic way. But to leave the idea here um, and to help with the composition of the wall, I just left this kind of outline which I like over uh, with my tag. Do you think it's working? It's not ideal, but sometimes we need to compromise. As always, check out the other videos of mine series from folds to walls when I turn my origami into murals. I think you find those videos informative and entertaining. My name is Airborne Mark. I'm mad about painting paper and as always origami riots folding all day every day and I'm out.